Hello, today we are going to be learning how to colour mix. We're going to be making nine colours from three colours to create this colour wheel. So the great thing about colour wheels are that you can have all the colours pinned on the back of your studio, on the back of your workplace, so you've always got a reference to colour and you know which ones you can mix, which ones you can't, which ones complement each other. So you've got the yellow with the purple, green with the red, and the blue with the orange. They're all complementary colors. So it's a great thing to always have. And it's magical seeing how you can take two colors and create them into another one, and then even more, pushing them further to another color. So please join me today in color mixing. To start with, you will need a plate, a piece of paper, a palette of some sort so that your paints can go onto the palette. You need a red, a yellow and a blue paint, preferably acrylic paint if you can, if not you can use a water-based paint, a pencil, a rubber, a ruler, a paintbrush and a pot of water and yourself in a good frame of mind with a lovely clean space just around you and here we go. Take your plate and place it upside down on the piece of paper. Make sure your pencil is nice and sharp. Sharpen your pencil. And then draw around the plate. Making sure you go all the way around the plate so that you're left with a circle on your piece of paper. Make sure it's in the middle of the piece of paper as well. Now we're gonna divide the paper into four segments to start with. Top to bottom, a nice line down with your pencil then across to create four segments of our, of our pie. Now we're going to divide each of the segment into three sections. So I'm marking off here, mark off each section into three segments. So you're gonna do two little sections and you're gonna draw from one end of your circle right through, through the middle to tap the other end, like so making sure that your ruler goes down through the middle section. Here's for the painting part. Before you do that, just make sure it's a very clean piece of paper, there's no extra pencil marks. Use your rubber and rub out any extra pencil marks there is anywhere else. Now we're going on to the painting side of things. Make space for your piece of paper and your palette. Put down your red, your yellow, and your blue acrylic paint onto your palette. Make sure you've got quite a large amount because we're going to be mixing it and going through it. Take your paintbrush and take the first bit of colour out and we're going to pa start painting our first segment. So I'm taking red. Start with any segment you like and we're going to draw in the red paint making sure it doesn't go out the line. You can start with the edges, doing the edges really neat first and then fill the inside in. But you're gonna paint one segment red. Make sure it's all equally painted as well. Wash your brush thoroughly. Make sure there's no excess paint on your brush. And then use the yellow. Put your brush in the yellow and miss three spaces out. So we're going to do one segment, count three spaces, and then we're going to paint the segment yellow. So in we go with the yellow. Everyone might have different shaped yellows, you might have a different shade to me, but don't worry about it. And paint that lovely yellow, lemon yellow, I love yellow, into the segment. Wash your brush thoroughly after you've done the yellow, and now we're going on to the blue. Take your blue, dip your paint in your blue, and miss three sections out and we're going to paint in with the blue. A nice full piece of the pie in this lovely blue. These are our primary colours. The three primary colours, red, yellow and blue. It's very simple, nice strong colours. Wash your brush thoroughly. Now we're going to mix two colours together. So you're going to pull up the yellow. I always use the lighter colour first, so if I use the red first, it will mix into the yellow. 
So I like to keep my colours quite clean. So pick out a blob of your yellow, put it on a separate place in your palette, blob with the red, pull it up, put it on a section of your palette to create an orange. You're going to create a tangerine orange. Make sure that the two colours mix in um, together with the same amount so that it creates the same amount of colour from both ends and paint in between the red and the yellow. You're going to paint this tangerine orange. Here we go, lovely, lovely, strong orange colour. Make sure your brush is really clean. If you see here, my brush is dirty. So if you've got a bit of tissue at hand or a bit of cloth or something, you want to wipe your brush, make sure your brush is really, really clean. If not, the colours will mix and they'll become brown colour. And we're gonna scoop up some of that yellow, an equal amount of blue, to make a lovely grass green. And we're gonna place that in between our yellow and our blue. Once you've done the green, wash your brush thoroughly again. And here we go with the next colour. We're going to take our red and our blue in a separate place in our palette, mix them together equal amount to create a lovely dark plum purple. And we're going to put that in between our red and our blue. If you add white to these colours separately, you'll see they really shine and they'll become like a, a lighter lilacs and um, lavender colour and like brighter purple colours, more mauves, you can add like little bits of different colours, a little bit more blue, a little bit more red, it becomes different shades of purple. Wash your brush thoroughly. These were the secondary colours, now we're moving on to the tertiary colours. The tertiary are mixing a primary and a secondary which we've just made. So here we go, we're going to mix the yellow with our mixed green to make a lighter green, to make a really fresh lime colour. And we're going to place that in between the two colours that we just mixed, the green and the yellow. So in between your green and yellow, you're going to put this lovely lime fresh colour into the segment. And we're going to pull out the yellow and we're going to mix it with that tangerine colour we made make a lighter orange, like a nice bright orange. And we're going to put that in between our yellow and our orange. Make sure you use enough water so that it's quite smooth when you run your brush down. You don't want it to be all like gritty and bubbly, it wants to be a lovely smooth line and try and make sure all your paint is quite equal in every section. If you need to change your water at all, go and change, take a minute and change your water and mix it in with our red. So our secondary colour and our primary colour, mix them together to create more of a ready orange, like a, a burnt orange. We're going to take some of our red with our dark purple that we've made to make a burnt purple, like a, a, a ready purple. Mix those together on your palette in a separate place and put them in between your purple and your red. Now we're going to take our blue our dark blue and mix it in with the purple to create a purpley blue colour like a, a dark plum. Mix those in together. It's all coming together now. Got one more to go. Take a scoop of the blue, a scoop of the green, mix them together to create a lovely bluey green. And here we have your very own colour wheel, which you can have around to look at, reflect on, to um, keep in your studio at the side, to always reference from as well. And you've just created your first colour wheel. Don't throw away your palette because we're gonna be using the palette for something else in the next video. So we're gonna be using those colours. If you want to save the paint, you can get some cling film, pull it over the palette so that it saves and it preserves and the paint will still stay wet and we're going to be using it to make something else. Thank you very much for joining me today. If you like what you see, please subscribe, give us a like, give us a follow and share our post. 
let's spread art and make creativity have a very very fantastic day and i hope you enjoyed making your color wheel